All right, so this is my girlfriend's 2015 Chevy Spark. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to upgrade her radio. This is the screen's all damaged. Don't know how that happened. I guess the UV light just kind of damaged that material. And I'm going to install one of these. That came off of 2013. Hopefully it works. I already went ahead and disconnected the battery. And removing the faceplate was a, was a bear to get loose. But literally you just pry it from the bottom with a pry removal tool. Vents are attached to that. And the hazard comes out the back. Let's see. Okay, so the radio came out. It's four screws. So on in this radio, there was three plugs. There's the main one, which is identical to the replacement radio. And there was this one plug here. I believe this is for the antenna. On the factory, well, not on the replacement radio, from what I was able to gather, it has the main plug. It has this plug. Um, I assume that that far back one is the radio. This one right here is for the, this one definitely goes to the USB. So this one has to be the audio controls on the steering wheel. So I could actually, actually I don't think I can because that one, the replacement one steering wheel had the airbags deployed. So that's not going to work. I might be able to do it in the future. But I believe that works, the audio controls. So I should still have a functional radio. Okay. Don't mind the coffee stain. I gotta clean my girlfriend's car. Jesus, she's so messy. Anyways, this aux plug actually comes out. You gotta come from the back and actually squeeze these little two tabs on the side. Little tab there, little tab there. Squeeze it, pull it out. Um, the plug for the aux, you just unplug it. The replacement actually fits in the same exact slot but there's a slot for the aux and there's a slot for the USB route this USB pigtail around the back you can zip tie it all together to make it neat and it plugs in this goes to the hazards this is the main line for the speakers power of the radio USB and lastly radio all right got it plugged in it says it's locked which is not fun, but it works. So I need to be able to unlock it. <laughs> so after some research, unfortunately, I didn't know this, but these Chevy head units are locked to the VINs of their vehicles. Now I've come across some folks mentioning eBay sellers that offer unlocking services and some folks have been skeptical about these radios talking about failure rates it, this one works fine I'm debating doing that because it's about 40 bucks to do which isn't too bad um, another person did a DIY on unlocking it but he had to take it apart and do some programming so I don't know if I want to do that well, I was able to find a fix. Um, in the description, I was going to reference um, the person that was able to figure out the whole issue. So if you guys are interested in upgrading your Spark Radio to the touchscreen model, I highly recommend you check out Phi Slamma Camera's blog. Um, and he illustrates exactly how he went about the process. Thanks, y'all. Bye. All right, so we were able to get the radio working, able to erase the VIN number on the radio. We were able to install it. And what happens is, is the car loads its VIN number into the radio. So it works perfectly. We have Bluetooth audio, we have aux, we have Apple Play. Feels like stock. And we're done, bye.